Well, New Yorkers 16 and older can now get the COVID-19 vaccine. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live at Cohen Children's Medical Center in New Hyde Park, where some teens are getting the shot today. Natalie? Well, yes, that's right, Chris. This means that anyone born on or before April 6, 2005 is now eligible to get their shot. And this morning, we met several teens who were very excited to be among the first in their age group to get theirs. Paul Navarro, a 17-year-old from Hempstead, and his mom are relieved he finally got the COVID-19 vaccine. He has spina bifida, which would put him at risk of serious illness if he were to contract coronavirus. I was very worried. I was, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to um, go in public. I didn't want to go to school. It will help my life in many ways. It'll keep me safe emotionally, physically, um, keep my family safe, uh, keep me healthy and keep going. 16 and 17-year-olds can only get the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The other shots haven't been approved yet for use by people under 18. Health officials say it's paramount teens get vaccinated to help reach herd immunity. It can affect kids. It can affect teenagers in a way that's really serious. But as importantly, um, in terms of stopping the spread of this virus, we've got to get all the children and all the adolescents and young adults immunized. 16-year-old Caitlin Bach has been remote since the pandemic began, so she can't wait to start up school and activities in person again. I'm in a, in a whole bunch of different singing groups. I'm in, involved in theater in my school. Um, I babysit and I tutor, so I've been tutoring all online. So I'm hoping if, I, if things go back to normal and the parents are okay with it, I might be able to tutor in person because that would be so much easier. And so far, none of the vaccines have been approved for people under the age of 16. Now, parents still do need to sign a consent form if their 16 and 17 year olds do want to get the shot. We're live in New Hyde Park, Long Island. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you. Even as